Hi guys, today I wanted to share a little snippet of an interview that I saw today. I think it just released today with my good friend Mark Cotton and his uh, co-host Sunny on their channel. I'll link it below and I'll, I'll uh, put it in the, the comment section. I'll pin it so you can watch the full interview. But it's a really profound interview with Cynthia Stafford, who won $112 million in the California lottery by visualizing. And I love this woman because it really shows the power that we have over our environment, over this reality. And that whatever you can put into your mind, whatever you can visualize, you can attract, you can manifest. So watch this little snippet. And at the end, go to the description and go to a pinned comment and you'll see the full interview so that you can go watch it for yourself it's amazing and they have a they have a guy on there called mr speak to i'm not sure who he is but he is dropping some knowledge on this this is a really good interview guys so especially if you're interested in like manifesting like money and especially manifesting um you know like big wins and lottery jackpots and this is probably the only interview that you really need to see because it's just that amazing so thank you guys so much for watching like, comment, subscribe while you're watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. The vibration of winning by, uh, there were times I would wake up and just say, yeah, it's gonna happen. And yes, you do have to talk to yourself. You know, if the mirror helps, great. Um, <laughs> did I look in the mirror and tell myself, you're gonna win? Yeah. Yeah. You have to believe it. <laughs> then I, um, there were times I made up little songs or whatever, or me and my, uh, kids, I call them my kids. We would mm. sing songs. <laughs> you know, it's about pulling up your vibration, bringing your vibration to a level where you feel good. Because mm. when you feel good, you manifest on a higher level. We're going to manifest anyway, good or bad. Right. I wanted to higher level and feeling good about what it is that I was doing. So, um, I made it a point to um, uh, do my visualizations and that became kind of, a, it was consistent visualization until it got to a point where I didn't feel the need to do it. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you know, I didn't have to, I just felt it within me that mm -hmm. one day it'll happen and I didn't stress as to when. Well, when I noticed that the number uh, reached 112, Mm -hmm. I looked and I said, and I was already going through a, a situation and I needed a large sum of money. Uh -huh. I had other ways of, of getting the money, but I said to myself, you know what, this, this has got to be it. This is it right here. Huh. And lo and behold, it happened. So it you, happened. Did, you didn't feel nervous at all? Like uh, there was no like fleeting, like, oh, what if it doesn't happen? It never came to your mind. No, no, when I saw that, I said, this is it. That's, That's it. going to be mine. That's mine. I it. And uh, I believe 112 had showed up prior to that. Uh, like it was in 2005, I believe. I need to do some research. <laughs> but um, I didn't give up. Even when I would see you know, others win, I would say, bless them. Because... You block your blessings when you have, uh, when you hold on to envy, jealousy, mm -hmm. things like that, resentment. So every time I saw numbers, because that was the main number I wanted, but I was open to just winning also. So the fact that I won the amount that I wrote down and that I declared, that was an amazing thing because it just proved to me the power of the mind and having faith in what we say.